Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a pre-loved Pandora haul and uh, some coffee because it's, it's, I don't know what time it is. It's like 9, 10 in the morning, 10. I think it's more like 10. And I've been up since about 8.30. So yay for getting up at 8.30, Shannon. <laughs> but I have some envelopes here and I have a box back here right here I don't know if I'm going to divide this up into two videos or leave it as one but um we're going to get into these little envelopes and I don't know which is which so I'm just going to grab okay and this one I saved these envelopes because you can take these off and reuse I, I, I reuse them so in that first package was a Murano, and I need my little stick. Oh, I don't have a lot of Muranos, but this is going to go on either my, I have a blue holiday theme bracelet started, or this is going to go on my cruise bracelet, and it is just the really pretty blue, and I forget what these are called, but they had them in a bunch of different colors. She is, looks like she's in perfect condition. I don't see really any wear on those edges. There's the hallmarks. Let's make sure they look good. Hallmarks look good. I don't have my um, silver cloth, but I have this cloth. I'm going to do, I'm gonna, I don't know if this will do this cloth or not. Because this is not a silver cloth. This is actually for like fashion jewelry. So I don't know if it's going to leave the black mark. I will clean that up later. This is the cloth I do the black mark test on. This is a silver polishing cloth. This side's for gold. This side is for silver. I always do this on my Pandora pieces. If I get black... I know there's tarnish, and I know that means it's silver. Yeah, it doesn't do it on that other cloth, but right there is where I just rubbed. So it is silver. There's tarnish coming off. Oh, yeah. So we are just buffing. And here's where I've kept rubbing. So... That's what I do to kind of test. This This thing looks like it's brand new. There's no scratches. There's no scuffs. You can even see the tarnish on my fingers. So that's going on probably my cruise bracelet. This next one is definitely going on my cruise bracelet. And that should pretty much finish off my cruise bracelet. This one is... the seashell charm and this is not the two-tone but it is the little seashell and we got some hallmarks there it says 925L we're gonna do the rub test on it as well so let me find a spot <laughs> that I can see oh yes so or right there is, let's see if I can, it's easier to do it on, see how that's starting to turn gray on a hard surface because you can really bear down. You might can hear that, but I am just rubbing it. And my fingers are going to turn black. I apologize. They're going to have tarnish on them. We're just going to shine that up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Look how much better that looks already. So, there she is shined up a little bit. So much better. Okay. So. Mm. Here is my cruise bracelet. I have room, as you guys can see. 
and I'm probably going to take this one off. I don't know yet because I have room. And we're going to rework this bracelet and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I've reworked it. I kind of rearranged it a little bit and it is done. It is full. So I, I did leave that one charm on there and it was bought in Nassau. So here is the new and finished. I have a, a finished bracelet. So we're going to go through the beans and I'll do, I'll do some photos outside in the natural sunlight. So you got you guys can see how pretty this is so I use clips I don't use safety chains so here is a beautiful star clip on the end um, here is the dice I got this pre-loved almost every charm on here is pre-loved um, the dice represents the casino and the cruise ship this is I think the the Vegas exclusive it has the CZs in it here is a birthstone heart and I think this is from I want to say December because it's the darker blue not the lighter blue here's an R for my hubby Ronnie there is the new seashell there's a star clip because you're under the moon and stars it is absolutely beautiful there is the cruise ship this one was purchased in Nassau and it does say the Bahamas on the bottom this one was also purchased in Nassau at the same time. It is to represent the beautiful water and sky. There is the star and moon dangles. Ronnie got me this one this summer at the outlets to kind of pair up to this one. I was wanting another one of these, but they didn't have it. So I'm on the lookout for one pre-loved. Maybe another one of these, which this bracelet is full now. So it, there would definitely have to be some rearranging. I got the suitcase. Another star clip. Again, all these are pre-loved except for about four. There are the fishies because we did do an underwater like sub thing where we got to saw a lot of fishes, turtles, brain coral, um, barracuda, all kinds of stuff. There is my initial, there's the Murano, and there is that heart. Again, this one was bought while we were in Nassau, and there is the moon clip. So we'll put this on and see how it looks. If I can get it on. I'm not, I am not used to having such a full bracelet on, which it was almost full. You can definitely feel the weight. Um, I have room for some spacers, um, but I doubt I'll put any on. I don't want to, you want to have some room on there. There is my full cruise bracelet. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have a bracelet here I need to empty off. This is one of... And I meant to grab a ruler, but um, I forgot to grab my ruler, guys. This is a bracelet I have been wearing, and there's some um, pre-loved charms on here that I've not showed you guys. So this is one of those $5 bracelets I got from Style, uh, Style Encore. And this one has some pre-loved pieces that you guys have not seen, so I'm going to take these off. And... There's a Soleil bead on here, too, I want to show you guys. And it is pretty snug on there, so. I'm taking all these off. That's a, a little silicone spacer. Okay. This one charm, I don't know what it is. I've Googled, I Google searched, I can't find it, and I don't know what it is. So... The first one is this cross. If you guys happen to know what it is, please leave it down in the comments because I don't know. I know it's sterling silver, but I got that cross. Here is the Pandora teacup. And let's take it off there. Little Pandora teacup. 
I love coffee. I love tea. So I got the teacup. I have the dangle teacup. Now I need is a teapot. So I'm on the hunt for a teapot. I got a little elephant and he is super cute. And there's a story behind this little elephant. Um, when I was very young, like infant, very young, up to three years old, um, I had a stuffed elephant. He didn't have a name. His name, his name was just elephant, Ellie the elephant. And I had this elephant all through childhood into adulthood and I had major surgery when I was three years old. I had a tumor. It was benign, but I had a tumor the size of a softball that had to be removed at the age of three. And I had this little elephant with me in the hospital. I had it with me the whole time. I had it with me into my first marriage. I kept it as a keepsake. And um, finally into my probably mid-twenties, my mother, I had, them, had all my stuffed animals in like a bag that I had kept, um, she donated them and my elephant was gone. But I still have the memory of that elephant and this little guy is in memory of Ellie the elephant that was with me through my whole childhood and saw me through a lot of shit, guys. He saw me through a lot of stuff. So this little elephant is to represent that little elephant and so there we have him. And... So here's a better look at that cross. Again, I don't know what brand this is. Um, if you guys know, I don't see any hallmarks on it. But it is silver. I don't know, but it is very pretty. And I grabbed it for like $10 on eBay. So there's that cross. And then this is a Soleil bead I got from Miss Hillary. For autumn, oh my goodness gracious, I wish my ring light was not on there so you could see the gold glitter. Look right there, oh my goodness gracious, it is so pretty and so chunky. Look how fat and chunky that is. So that is my newest Soleil bead. Then the other bead I got in its own, my oxidized bracelet, is a birthday bloom. And I got the green one, which I do believe is may because it is uh emerald i do believe it's right so i got that birthday bloom this bracelet is almost done uh, there's a little bit of reworking i want to do on this one and some pieces i want to try to find mates too so i'll have doubles but there is the birthday bloom i got that one and I think this one was around $15. I can't remember, but it wasn't bad and it's in perfect condition. Some of these I'll get and one of the stones is kind of roughed up on the, the little end, but that one's in perfect condition. So there is my oxidized bracelet still in work. And then I think we'll end this video here because this one back here we'll do another haul on and we're going to rework some bracelet on that too so it'll take a minute but yes so that is my cruise bracelet and i love this i wanted to try to find another murano and then i'll have to rework something i don't know what but i really love this murano on here that is my cruise bracelet redone and finished for now. They're always a work in progress. So guys, let me know if you've started collecting Pandora. And if you did the free bracelet promo, what did you get? And I'll, I'll see you guys on the next one.